Let's get started. Reading the Philippine History Project. Student Profile, presented by Laguzan Russell Jane Tuyor from Olga Y22 MO31, a BSB student major in Marketing Management. Submitted to Mr. Marvin Palaran, a first-year ICCT Colleges instructor. Our topic for today is all about Customs of the Tagalog by Juan de Placencia. Author's background of Juan de Placencia. He was born in the 16th century as Juan Portacarero in Placencia, region of the Extremadura of Spain, a captain of a Spanish schooner, first group of Franciscan missionaries arrived in the island on July 2, 1578, spent most of his missionary's life in the Philippines. Juan de Placencia, he has founded a numerous towns in the zone and authored several religion and linguistic books. The first book ever printed in the Philippines is The Christian Doctrine. As soon as he arrived, he joined with another missionary, Fray Diego de Arapesa, and they both started preaching around Laguna de Bay and Tayabas, Quezon, in Quezon Province, where he founded a several towns. Padre Juan Jaro de Arapesa Si Padre de Arapesa ang maigpit na kapartner ni Padre de Placencia sa pag-oorganisa ng mga bayan-bayan sa pamamagitan ng reduction, kabilang na ang taytay. Dahil dito, kapwa silang binungsagal ng Padre de la Receptionist at Apostol ng Laguna at Tayabas. Sa himpilang lumbang, si Padre de Placencia ang ama at pastol. Sa mga taong bayan na himemplang, pila si Padre de Arapesa ang confessor. Pareho silang sumulong hanggang sa dalawang bundok ng Tayabas at sa lahat ng nasa silangan ng La Laguna. Historical background of the document, the writing and costumes of the Tagalogs is done by a Spaniard using his eyes and hands. It is not unexpected how the author did not fully comprehend the socio-political status of the Luzon. This work gave descriptions of our ancestors at the time. As if these are true or culture which they think are exactly, this was mostly for the advantage of the Spaniards to expose our ancestors. And this is the highlight of the background of questions of the Tagalog by Juan de Placentia. Historical information. According to the account, Juan de Placencia, our ancestors had ships whom they called Datos, who are the ones leading the barangays. We classify the social classes of barangay into three groups, namely nobles, communiers, and slaves. The author highlighted the highest of the social classes, the Hamarlika. The Maharlika had all the rights of the female, but they are especially the warrior clans. They will be respected if not revered by the barangay. Unlike the female, they were not expected to pay taxes. They will provide protection to the barangay and were responsible for providing and preparing the weapons at their own expense. A Maharlika could change to another barangay by marrying into or by simply moving to it. So, have required paying a certain amount to his duty, a fence will be given in, in his honor when leaving the barangay. The analysis found in the document data and the equality of the people of the barangay, even to the children of slaves, there were two types of slaves, the elite ng mga and the elite ng sigigil, and the duties and those fines depending on the demand of the current duties. The two types of slaves of the costumes of the Tagalog, the Hawaiian D. Placentia. The elite in the was a servant to sleep in their own little house on the property of their master. The elite in Sigigilet was known by the even more degradatory business, meaning lifted spirit. 
these persons were so vulnerable that it seems like their genitals are exposed. Relevance and Contributions References And this is the end of our discussion for today. Thank you for watching.